the array. It's sorted 15, 23, 26, 41, etc. So I'm using a simple app, but some of you might not have Flash. This is taken from video.franklin.edu. And we'll search for number 75. So here we go. <clears throat> the first step would be to um, pass the uh, you know, pass the array with integers and the integer to search. I will be uh, one, which is the starting point. Usually in Java, arrays start at zero, but for this example, it starts at nine, and then the end point is nine, j equals nine. So I is the beginning and j will be the end point. So then while I is less than j, which is the case, we're gonna create an m, which is halfway through, which is 5. It's 1 plus 9 divided by 2. Then 75 is greater than a sub 5. That evaluates to true, so then we move the i pointer. We go back to the while and do it again. And we'll be uh, the halfway mark, which is 7. Then the condition is false, and then that means that we've found uh, that, that uh, j then moves. j moves to the seventh position. Again, while 6 less than 7, we start the loop. m is the midpoint, which is 6 again. It's going to be the uh, m is going to change there. Then 75 is greater than 59, which is a sub 6, so we move the i, right? Now, the while loop doesn't enter because i is not less than j. Now, if well, let's try to search and the integer, which is 25 in this case, and let's see it run. i is going to be 1, j is going to be 9, which is the endpoint. i less than j is 1 less than 9, yes. So we enter the loop, we get the medium point, which is going to be 5, which is 1 plus 9 divided by 2. We're going to see 25, is that greater than a sub 5, which is 52? It's false. So now we work with the lower half of the array. j becomes uh, 5. So now i and j, that marks the limit of our array, goes from 1 to 5, you see? So 1 is less than 5, so we enter the loop. We compute the median, which is 3, the, the average, which is 3. So then we move the m. Now we'll look, is 25 less than a sub 3? Yes. So then we move j again. So we shorten the array. We're trying to zero in on 25. <clears throat> now is 1 less than 3? Yes, it is. So let's compute the medium, which is going to be 2. Right? So m moves to 2. And then x is greater than a sub m. So 25 is greater than 23. Yes. So then we move the i. Right? So now, is i less than j? No, 3 is not less than 3. So then we can say that if the a sub 3 is equal to 25, which is not the case, we would have returned that location. But because it's not the case, location is 0 in this case, not found. It's, you return an index that's not in the array. That's, that's how it works. So in Java, for example, you would return location equals negative 1, which would mean it's not in the array. That's it about how the binary search algorithm works.